again, my name is Gabe Zolner. This is the 6th of February, 2019. I wasn't able to watch President Trump's State of the Union address, but I caught a little bit of uh, various glimpses on the uh, internet. And the one I was most entertained with and about was seeing Nancy Pelosi sitting behind President Trump and beside Mike Pence. And what amazed me is that she wasn't really paying much attention to what President Trump was saying. She was pretending to read. And why do I say pretending? Well, she was born March the 26th, 1940. She'll be 79 years old in a month. And most people of her age need reading glasses. I don't because I had cataract surgery and the lenses that I have allow me to see both distance and close up. Now it's possible she went ahead and had that procedure done as well. But here's where I started out. It's, if you watch her, she's holding up this document and she's pretending to look at it, but the eyes aren't moving, nor is her head which is what most people would be doing when they're reading. This is what they'd be doing. But she's not doing that. She's just staring at this document, pretending to be reading it. <laughs> but, again, not paying attention to what President Trump is saying. The whole thing is a complete farce. Having people her age and with her diminished mental capabilities as being third in line for the Oval Office is completely and totally insane. You know, I've said this in previous videos, any presidential candidate or vice presidential candidate, they need to undergo complete physical and mental evaluations before they're even allowed to be considered as a viable candidate. Because if people like Nancy Pelosi reach the pinnacle of power, that's frightening. She doesn't even know who the president is. She's called President Trump, Bush, more than once, and she's called President Trump Obama more than once. That's sort of frightening. But again, just watch her as she stares at the document while President Trump is giving his address to the nation. She's not reading anything. Her eyes are just, once again, staring straight ahead. No movement of the head which is what most people would be doing if they're reading. Their eyes go back and forth as they're reading. What she's showing is total disrespect, total lack of interest in what President Trump is saying. And you know why those whacked out Democrat women were all wearing white? They're trying to show their numbers. That's why they're all wearing white. They don't want anyone to not recognize the strides they've made. You know whose fault that is? I think it's Trump's fault. He blew the midterms. He should have done what I had suggested showed the videos of Chucky e. Schumer railing against people that come across the border. Harry Reid railing against anchor babies. He didn't do that. I actually sent copies of those videos to the White House along with my idea, which is to have him do exactly that. He should have played those same videos when they had that 
meeting in the Oval Office with Chucky and Nancy. He should have started the meeting with those videos. Again, he didn't do that either. I don't know, folks. The jury's still out. A leopard doesn't change its spots, does it? They portrayed poor Trump. Everybody's attacking him, so we've got to support him. Distract, divert, to deceive. The Republican Party is pretty much destroyed. And I have no doubt that 2020 will have a whacked out Democrat in the Oval Office. Trump will not run a second term. I don't believe that he will. I might be wrong, but I don't think so. Too many unkept promises, reciprocity for concealed carry being just one of them, telling us the truth about what happened to JFK, another one of them. These are not little boo-boos. These are major, major boo-boos. Hillary, you need to go to jail. Not one big fish has been held accountable. And when the Republicans had both houses, they squandered that. They got nothing done. And the Democrats are going to subpoena and subpoena and subpoena. Elijah Cummings, Maxine Waters, they're in ecstasy. You think not? Think what you like. I do. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to like-minded friends. Ask them to do the same. Thanks for listening.